Ilya Ivanov was a Russian biologist and an expert in artificial insemination who tried to make human-ape hybrids. Ivanov worked in the early 20th century, in the 1910s and 20s, and he successfully crossbred very close species. He once successfully made a Z-donk, which was a hybrid between a zebra and a donkey, as well as a Zubron, which was a mix between a bison and a cow. He also successfully crossbred and created new species out of rats, mice, guinea pigs, and rabbits. He first proposed the idea of human hybrids in the 1910s. Some people said that it was just a natural scientific curiosity. Others said that he was trying to prove that humans and apes are closely related. The idea was successfully breeding humans and apes would prove that their genomes are actually quite similar and that we are in fact close relations. Some people suggested that Ivanov's work with apes was actually just farming glands for rejuvenation of Soviet leaders. And some people said he was trying to build a race of super soldiers, half human, half ape hybrids that would be stronger and need less resources. In 1926, Ivanov successfully implanted a human female's ovary into a chimp named Nora and inseminated her with human sperm. However, no babies came of the union. That didn't stop Ivanov, and he wanted to know if it would maybe be easier the other way and started thinking about inseminating a human woman with chimp sperm. He captured 20 different primates in Africa and brought them back to the Soviet Union into an area where he could closely replicate their natural environment to keep them healthy. Then he set about finding human women who would be okay to care various ape and chimp babies, and he actually found five willing volunteers. Unfortunately, not all the apes made it to their new home or survived in their new home, and by the time he was ready to start inseminating women, he only had four left. And unfortunately, or very fortunately as the case may be, once he was actually really ready to go, he had one left, an orangutan named Tarzan who was 26 years old. Unfortunately, or again, maybe fortunately, Tarzan died of a brain hemorrhage before his material could be harvested. Ivanov got a new shipment of primates in 1930, but he was then victim of a widespread purge against scientists. He was jailed, then exiled to Kazakhstan, where he was imprisoned for a year and eventually released, but he died shortly thereafter. Luckily, we will never know if a human woman can carry a chimp's baby.